Hey guys, my name is Kronio from Sense Quality, and today I'm going to show you how to get the most FPS in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 here. Now, you're going to want to stay through this whole video because not only will I show you how to get the most FPS, but I'll show you the best controller settings as well. Plus, I'll show you how to make sure that you have minimal delay at the end there. And if you want the best FPS possible, if you want to have an advantage over your competitors like professional players do, if you want to make sure that you're seeing the enemies before they see you here, you want to go to sensequality.com with that link down below here. And basically, we're going to tune up your PC and make sure that you're good. And if we can't increase your FPS, you can get your money back there. So go ahead and visit that link there and let's get into the video here. And we're going to go to the graphic settings and we're going to do full screen exclusive, right? I'm just going to put a full screen borderless for this video here. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to scroll down to NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. If you have an NVIDIA card, you want to set this to on um, and then you should be able to scroll down. Custom frame rate. If you're not getting over 300 FPS, I would like enable this one a custom and I would probably set this to 240 there and at 120 and 30 there. So that way, like you're not having your GPU increase in temperatures and you're not going to get as much scanner repair or dev ears in the game here because your gp is not going to be working hard uh, and that's what a lot of people miss there so then you're going to scroll down here you're going to put your focus mode to zero uh pause game rendering off there and then you're going to go to uh quality and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our render resolution is matching your monitor my monitor is a 1440p monitor so this should say 1440p if you have a 1080p monitor that should say 1080p there and then what you want to do is you want to go to upscale sharpening fidelity cast set that bad boy to 100 right there it makes the game look much better here so that's going to be good there and then you want to go to vram scale set that to 90 and after you set that to 90 you want variable rate shading on because this increases your fps a lot guys so make sure that that's on there and now for the secret sauce setting so texture resolution you're going to set this to very low if you want a better looking game you could set that to normal there that's perfectly fine as well texture and a fil uh, filter anatropic you see how that says nothing i'm going to show you how to do that just stick around here so then depth of field you turn that off there to be honest nearby uh level of detail low particle resolution you could set that to normal if you really want to uh but you could just set it to low if you want the most fps possible and then what you want is bullet impacts you could set this on i just leave these off in general persistent effects i leave these off uh shader quality i leave that low on demand texture streaming you want at minimal and then you want download limits to on and you want the daily download limit to one and what this does is it reduces the amount of packet bursts that you receive in game here, which is really good. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to local texture streaming quality and you want to set this to normal there. That's perfectly fine. Shadow quality, very low screen space shadows off screen space, ambient lighting off for sure. Uh, screen space reflections off static reflection quality low tessellation off volumetric quality low deferred physics quality low i mean off weather grid volumes off and water quality off so then you want to go to views here and motion reduction you can leave that off field of view you want to set this to 105 there uh that's going to get you the best aim assist 105 to 107 is usually the best for controller players overall here and then what you want to do is ADS field of view. Uh, that one could be left at affected there. Weapon field of view default, vehicle field of view default, motion blur and weapon blur. Turn those both off. Inverted flashbangs, you want to turn that on there. So that should be good right there. Now, this is a secret setting for mouse and keyboard or controller players. So if you're a mouse and keyboard or controller player, you're going to go to which one you are. You're going to go to movement. You're going to go to sprint assist. You want to put this on tactical sprint assist. This will allow you to move around the map and slide cancel and do the omni movements really well. And after you do that, you're going to want to go down here to sprint assist delay and put that at zero sprint assist sideways. Put that at on and sprint assist backwards and put that at on there. 
So that should be really good there. And you want to leave, just leave these two at off mantle assist and crouch assist. And what you want to do, uh, where is it here? Boom, is you want to scroll down here and you want to go to movement, advanced movement settings, right? And you want to make sure your sprint restore and your slide maintain sprint is on there. That's huge. And let me just see if there's a um, controller here. Boom. Okay. So we have everything there. So that should be good. If you're on controller, you want to go to movement, slide, dive behavior. You want to put that on hybrid. And that's really important for you there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to move on to the advanced, advanced settings there. So on controller, you're going to go to aiming and aiming advanced settings. And you're going to go to aim response curve type. And you want this on dynamic here. And that is very important. And next, what you want to do is you want to go outside the game here, right? So you go outside the game and then you go to documents. You scroll down, you go to Call of Duty here. You go to players and you'll see a whole bunch of just random files here. So what you want to do in these random files is you want to look for s.1.0.cod24.txt. Uh, now the text file, this changes a lot guys for the beta here, uh, but basically you want to pick the one with the lowest number. So if it has text zero to it, you want to just click on that and you want to edit that with your notepad there. If it has text one to it, you want to click on that one and edit that one. But you want to use the one with the lowest number or no numbers. Some just says dot text in general, and that's perfectly fine too. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up here. And when you open it up, you're going to see a whole bunch of settings here. Now you're going to do control fine, right? Or control F and you're going to type in a and I, right? Annie. And when you type that in, you should see texture filter quality level. You're going to want to set this to linear guys. That's going to just make your FPS just more consistent in general. The next thing you want to do is set the render worker count. So you're going to type in render, right? And you're going to just click find until you find it here. So you could see that the thread count for handling the job queue render worker count, right? Uh, I have it at eight. That's the best for my system. Every system is different, but uh, it should be matching the amount of cores you have. And if you have more than eight cores, it should just be eight cores. Call of Duty just performs the best at eight cores or seven cores there. So you want to put your render resolution at seven or eight cores if you do have eight or more cores. If you have lower than that, you want to set it. You want to just leave it as is there and it should be fine. Uh, you want to make sure uh that you type in and scroll up here and you want to make sure to skip intro you can just type in skip and you should find it the skip intro is true there and that should be fine there as well so all of these settings are good as long as you do those settings you should be perfectly fine there those are the most important settings for this specific beta now if you have an nvidia uh gpu you're going to want to watch this section here. So if I click on the NVIDIA control panel, we're going to scroll over here to adjust desktop color settings. And I'm going to show you the in-game color settings as well. So the adjust desktop color settings, we're going to set it at 60 for the brightness. We're going to set it at 55 for the contrast. And we're going to set it at 55 for the digital vibrance here. So that should be good right there. And then um g-sync you want to disable that just because you want the lowest input delay possible and disabling g-sync will allow you to have that then you want to go to manage 3d settings and what you want to do is you want to turn low latency mode on right you want to scroll down power management mode you want this to preferred maximum performance there and you just want to copy all the settings that i have here so texture filtering quality you want this at high performance and that's basically about it for the uh, NVIDIA control panel settings. Now we're going to go back into the game, right? And we're going to go to interfaces. We're going to go to color customization here. You're going to go to color filter. You're going to set that to two. And then you're going to go to color filter target. You're going to put both. You're going to do the world color intensity at 100. Interface color intensity at 100 there. And that should just make the game look absolutely beautiful there. 
this game has very very nice um audio settings so you don't really want to worry about the audio there i have mine on headphones this is more specific to you or personalized so that should be fine i like going to master game volume and turning down the cinematic music just so you don't have to listen to that and turning down the gameplay music as well just so you don't have to listen to that uh but other than that guys that should be it there so i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and if you need more fps you can always visit sensequality.com where we work with all the pros and getting you the lowest input delay possible and if we can't increase your fps you can get your money back there so Go ahead and just check that link down below. Oh yeah, so last thing for my controller players. This is for all the people that stayed through the whole video here. So you're gonna go to the controller settings. You're gonna go to aiming and then you're gonna go to motion sensor advanced settings here. And then you're gonna go to FOV sensitivity scaling and you're gonna wanna turn that off there. And then if you go to the controller section right here, uh, I play on a little bit of high settings here. Uh, but what you want to do is go to dead zone inputs now for the left stick and the right stick minimums you want to set this to zero and then scale it up until you have zero um stick drift there right so if you're just moving by if the controller is moving by itself there you want to just go up one up one up one until your controller stops moving by itself and then for the left stick max i would set this down if you like omni movement to around 75 there and that way your omni movement is going to be uh, more prevalent during the game and you don't have to tap or swipe your controller as much as you do now so i really hope that helps and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and stay tuned for the next video here